All right, y'all. It's been a while. So um, this company called Spectro Coding had hit me up and uh, wanted me to use their product in a video. And uh, they seen that I do a lot of flocking in some of my videos. So they wanted me to try out their product and um, see how I liked it. And uh, so I had to come up with an idea. And so I just thought I'd just do a basic box. And um, so here I am, I milled up the wood and uh, using some maple. And I'm gonna cut some dovetails in the maple and uh, so back to that company uh, they're telling me that it's a uh, it's not as messy as a regular flocking is uh, it comes in sheets that you got to glue down whereas the regular flocking you've got to put down some adhesive and then you actually uh, like spread the small pieces of flocking over that adhesive and it can be quite messy and uh, as we get into this video I'll, I'll kind of tell a little bit about my experience and whatnot so here I'm continuing to cut the um, the tails of the dovetails And uh, now I'm just using the chisel to clean up the tails. And uh, just cutting a little at a time and taking my time doing it. Turn it over, do the other side. And just getting the little small pieces in and out. And now I'm tracing the tails onto the pin board. And mark in the, uh, in this case, I marked the tails and to make sure that I saw on the tail side of the pins. And I'm using a little jig that I got from Cat Moses. And it helps you uh, maintain the correct angle for doing the dovetails. And right here, I'm cutting those tails off of the pin board and again cleaning up the pins there and I'm cutting a slight bevel on these tails on one side so they'll just basically um, uh, still fit snug on the uh, the pin board but helps them go in just a little easier and now I'm gluing everything up and I'm gonna do the bottom and the uh, top in walnut and uh, so I decided to go ahead and dovetail the bottom piece into the box carcass as well. So here I'm marking out those dovetails. And I'm using my marking gauge to mark my line about how deep I need to go. And now I'm cutting those dovetails. I'm putting one on the long ends and then two on the uh, shorter sides. And I'm just chopping that material out. I took my marking gauge here just to make sure I got all the material out 
to the depth that I needed it to. And now I'm marking my lines for um, the, uh, well, the actual, this will actually be the, the tails, whereas I just cut out the pins. So this will actually be the tails on the uh, bottom of the box. Sorry about my hairy arms keep on getting in the way. <laughs> saw here to make it a little bit quicker to cut out these um, tails much quicker than using my saw and I actually uh, was Test fitting that, and um, it was so tight that I couldn't get it back apart to uh, apply glue. So that bottom part is glueless. <laughs> and uh, so now I'm cut out another piece of walnut to use as the uh, as the top, and I'm gluing it down, clamping it up. I'm gonna leave it to dry for a few hours, and then I'm gonna come back and uh, cut off that excess. And uh, use my plane here to get it down nice and even. And I'm sure I probably took my um, flush router bit and uh, flushed that up. I just didn't show it on camera here. And um, got the uh, blade at like a 7% angle. And uh, just kind of cutting a crown on top of the box just to give it some decoration. And here I'm just marking where I'm gonna cut the box open. And I usually normally, I, use, I normally use my table saw for this and I want to try to use the bandsaw and I won't do that no more. It was so crooked and took me so long to clean this up. And actually I had to cut so much of it off that I actually lost one of my pins um, from the dovetails. So um, here we are. Um, this is that material I was talking about um, from Spectra Coating. And uh, again, um, regular flocking is put adhesive down and then you have all these little bitty small um, pieces of material that you have to basically pump in or squirt onto the, um, the adhesive. Whereas this is basically the same material but it's on sheets and putting this material inside these boxes like this I'm sure there's probably a different way to do this than what I'm doing um, but it was pretty tough to get into the tight spots and um, for this type of application I think I would rather prefer doing it the old way with the adhesive and the loose flocking um, but like I said, by, by no means, I enjoyed working with the product and it's got its place for certain applications. But for me, this wasn't the correct application. Um, again, I'm sure there's an easier way to do this than what I was trying to do. I don't know, but, um, the material works real good. It holds up really well. Um, so I, I do appreciate them hitting me up and giving me a chance to try the material and uh, they sent me quite a bit of it so I'm sure I'm going to use it in some future projects as well and um, I didn't show making this tray um, but I did dovetail with one tail on the tray and that was the divider I put in there and um, now I'm just putting some uh, seal coat on which is Dewax shellac and I cut it with some mineral oil and I'll probably put about, I don't know, six coats 
of the wax shellac on there. Also didn't um, get on camera putting those hinges on. Uh, this project was, it probably took me a month and a half to do because I just had a lot of stuff going on. And so just didn't ever have a chance to, you know, I got a little bit done at a time and some of it I just didn't want to film. And putting the feet on there, rubber feet. Um, same type of feet that I used to put on my cutting boards. And now I'm gonna put the clasp on there. And um, you notice here in a second, well, actually you won't notice and I'm not gonna notice either, but if you see, I've actually got the clasp upside down. Um, I actually didn't realize this for quite a while and actually even screwed it down and everything until I finally realized, you dummy, you got it upside down. And probably could just kept it like that and nobody probably would even notice, but um, this is the point where I kind of noticed and I'm like, wait a minute, that's not quite right. And yeah, I probably cussed a little bit right there. So I take the screws out, turn it the right way, do it again, um, put this last screw in, and there you go. Um, this project didn't quite go as I wanted it to. It was frustrating in certain things. Like I said, it took me longer than it should have took. Made some mistakes on it. But overall, I'm still pretty happy with it. I think it turned out great. Um, uh, if you like the video and everything, and you like what I do, please um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Um, I appreciate y'all checking me out. Y'all have a great day.